Javante led the league in minutes last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, would you like to cut him, his minutes down a little, or he's a guy who's kind of so valuable he's got to be on the floor as much as possible? I'm really a flow coach. Um, I have no set amount of minutes I love to play him. I love him to continue to work offensively, continue to work defensively, to be vocal, and to give me what he has, and to trust that I'll make a decision when he needs a breather. Uh, but he's he's been playing outstanding basketball. Is there, is there a point where I don't say this like you are, you need everybody on your team to defend? And is there a point when too many minutes will negatively affect his defense and maybe not his but your players' defense? Is that is that just a constant gauge you're going to have to deal with all players on? Uh, it is, but we're a no excuse team. They got to trust that you push it out, you blow it out, you work your tail off in game situations. I'm not going to come in the next day and kill you. Uh, so I will read and make sure that guys have enough because it won't be an acceptable excuse that I played last night. Oh, I guarded Kobe Bryant the night before. Find a way to get it done. What are your thoughts on uh, Jenkins last night? I thought he was very good. Mm -hmm. He paid attention to what we've been asking him to do. Um, I thought he ran his basketball team. Um, he defended very well, did some very good things on both sides of the ball. Some of the, the guys you guys have picked up lately, Kwame and Dominic, are uh, more of a, I guess, a tough guy type of player. Is that something you wanted to establish in this group, something you thought they needed? We needed it as a team. Uh, we didn't need any duplication of what we already had. Those guys really get after it. They play with force on the defensive end obviously have some limitations offensively, but they have a toughness that this team needed. And uh, especially Dom last night, it was refreshing to see what he brought to the table. What did you think of uh, your performance in the first exhibition game? Um, I felt I did good, but I know I could bring a lot more to the table. Um, like I said, just still trying to learn the system, and I feel like once I do that, I'll be able to show more of my game. Yeah. Coach was, uh, you know, this is a team that's needed some rebounding and defense. Coach was really proud of what you did that first first night in, in those efforts. Is that something you think you can bring to this group? Uh, definitely. That's what I hang my hat on, uh, defense and rebounding, uh, making the plays that really don't show up on the stat sheet, uh, communicating on defense, and, you know, just trying to do anything to help my team win. Where do you come down on, on getting minutes in the D League versus being with the team and, and practicing with the team up here? I mean, I haven't heard about anything about the D-League, uh, but I mean, if that time comes, hopefully it don't, uh, then you know, it's another situation. But I haven't really put my mind there yet. You know, I'm focusing on what we have going on here right now and uh, preparing for uh, you know, this upcoming season with the Warriors. So the goal is to stay up here with, with them the whole time and yeah. find a way to get on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that should be his mentality. Um, and it shouldn't just be in what he says, it should be in what he does. Be the first one here, the last one to leave. Pay attention, continue to get better, and he won't have to worry about leaving this team. It looked like you were in his ear quite a bit in between timeouts and everything. You're just trying to get the sets and everything. Trying to get the out. sets, trying to get the defensive, uh, the way we play defense, because each team is different. And um, trying to get those two things and, and trying to see what he wants, you know, offensively, or, you know, when we push the ball, what do we get into? Uh, uh, so different things like that. I know Larry Riley, the general manager, last year, the first time he saw you out here, um, he was like, we want that guy. I know they tried to get you. Does that mean something that for a year they've been working with two different teams trying to figure out a way to get you? Well, I, I would be a, um, a liar if I said it, it doesn't feel good to be wanted. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity. And uh, I want to be you know, here to learn and pick up and, and grow, hopefully, with this team. So it does mean a lot. But uh, I know, I, you know, we have some business to do, and uh, and uh, I'm willing to, you know, go all in.